Hello everybody, it's Di Hill, Transformational Coach, Energy Healer and best-selling author. How are you today? So today's teaching is all about sabotage, how we deliberately get in the way of ourselves, even if we've got great dreams and we know what it is that we want, whether it's exercise goals, where we want to go to in our career, maybe we've got dreams of, I don't know, new, new skills or just, I don't know, achieving well at school. But let me talk to you about self-sabotage because we all do it. No one is immune. But in this teaching, what I'm hoping to really kind of teach you is in knowing that your saboteur exists and knowing what to do when they raise their heads, which they will, you can somehow, some way, and you will break free of it. So let's talk about why we self-sabotage. And really all that self-sabotage means is you deliberately but unconsciously getting in the way of yourself, stopping you from creating or doing what it is that you've got your designs on, whether it's a goal, uh, something you're wanting to achieve, it could be big, it could be small. Um, but basically, we act in ways to stop ourselves getting it. So why do we do it? Now, if I think back to when I first sabotaged uh, myself, not that I realized I was doing it, it takes me right back to university days and you know you, you can take yourself back to like those last sort of few exams either at school or in tertiary education where you you know you had a lot on your plates there was a lots and lots to do and then suddenly you'd find yourself you know doing lots of cooking or cleaning the house so it's the cleanest it ever been or having to go and do a load of errands and suddenly they seemed more important than actually doing what you were meant to be doing, which was studying. And the reason we do it, which is feeding into you know, procrastination, is because it's our way of trying to stay safe. At the end of the day, we self-sabotage for one reason and one reason only, because we are scared. We are fearful of failure, messing up, making a mistake. And to our brains, if we do that, then we might get rejected. And um, in your, to your brain, that fear of rejection is one of the main, main fears of humans. And if we um, give in to it, that fear of rejection to your subconscious brain means that you are going to be kicked off, kicked out of the tribe, uh, left to kind of die on your own somewhere, ostracized. And so therefore, your subconscious will do anything to stop you doing that. And therefore, you start behaving in ways to keep you safer. You will never, ever, ever reach your highest potential and you will never reach your goals and dreams and desires if you allow your self-saboteur to get in the way. So what can we do about this This entity, this identity that lives within you? Well, first of all, let's understand where they come from. Where well, they have been formed in your subconscious, your ego, your identity from when you were growing up. And you learn very quickly which ways kept you safest, the most loved, validated, approved and accepted. So you started behaving in ways to make sure that you never actually operated um, in kind of unsafe ways, ways that you would be um, potentially made to feel like you're a failure or not good enough. So we learn this all very unconsciously through our childhood. And then what happens is we create little comfort zones that we sit in and you can have comfort zones for anything. Um, how much love or happiness you'll let in, how much money you allow yourself to earn, um, how confident you are, how successful you are. And these comfort zones, mistakenly called comfort zones, um, are there really as a safety zone for you to stay in. If you start doing things that might like push the upper limits of those comfort zones, your subconscious is going to say, whoa, hold on a minute, what's going on? Why are you doing this? And um, 
before you know it, unconsciously, you'll um, start behaving in ways to bring you back down to your comfort zone. And all this does is feed into feelings of frustration, irritation, maybe a bit of resentment, maybe disappointment, all those really yuck, low vibe emotions, which, you know, come from believing that you can't have what it is that you want. So the good thing to know about your saboteur is that they're always there and to recognize it when it like rears its head because it will so it's not a case of kind of getting rid of it okay it's more of a case of tuning into it when it comes into your kind of field uh, how you're operating what you're saying to yourself how you're feeling and then being able to kind of have that self-awareness to stop yourself, almost laugh at yourself when you are getting in the way of yourself. So believe it or not, there's 10 different types of self-saboteur and we all identify with at least one and often a secondary one as well. And just knowing what that one is um, and then how we behave when when we start sabotaging is really really helpful and supportive when you are trying to reach your goals so on one hand it's about accepting that saboteur is there seeing what it's needing why has it come up what's it trying to stop you from doing what are you what's it trying to stop you avoid feeling and then also tuning in to that beautiful part of you, the sage, the, the higher self, the wise one, the, the wisdom that you innately hold inside and kind of allowing yourself to be um, really kind of guided by that place. Because you'll know, and when my clients do channel tapping with me, we, we talk to the ego and we talk to the higher self and the whole energy is very, very different. Your self-saboteur is operating from fear, fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of judgment, and your higher self operates totally from love. So knowing that you have a saboteur, investigating it, we even give our saboteurs a name, so we really can be very aware of them when they crop up, just to kind of not even put them in their place, but just so we know that they exist, what their kind of operation is in our life and how to quieten them down and to really push through them, even though they're there, is a massive, massive gift. So I'm currently running, if you're still watching the video, I'm currently running a 30 minute free coaching session on discovering your self-saboteur because once you have, it's gonna really help you move those mountains to get where you want to be, whether it's in your personal life, your professional life, whatever area that you're feeling stuck upon, knowing what's getting in the way, how you operate, how you get in the way of yourself, is gonna be super, super helpful. So I'll put a link in the comments below so you can have a look at it. Um, but yes, book in that free session with me. Um, I'll help you discover what it is and then you, you can be set free of their clasps and go on to really go and create what it is that you want. So love and blessings this afternoon. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Okay, bye for now, bye.